You know, eating shrimp reminds me of a really fascinating species that represents the biodiversity of surrounding reef systems. So, who wants to see my peacock? Mantis shrimp, that is. A.K.A. Odontodactylus solaris. That's uh, quite a mouthful. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> well, you know, tough luck, because these dudes live in the shallow tropical waters in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They burrow in corals and rock formations, just like the ones we were learning about in class. <laughs> Neato! <laughs> I would pull up a pig, but SJ, do you remember what they look like? Oh, hello. These guys are usually six to seven inches long, <laughs> and they are green, red, and all sorts of colors. They have a hard exoskeleton made of chitin, and their arms are made for clubbing, stabbing, and they're pretty much recognized as the Manny Pacquiao's of the animal kingdom. Now, due to their extremely fast punch, they can deliver a strike with 340 pounds of force, which can break anything from crab shells to a fourth inch of glass. Now, if you uh, ask me, that's a middle A. So, uh, what makes these guys so special? I'm glad you asked. Their eyeballs are the most complex visual system on the entire planet. They have 12 photoreceptors, but us humans only have two. They use their top and bottom lobe for light and movement sensing, and they have a middle band for color and polarized light. Get a load of this. They have depth perception in a single eye. They can see visible light like us, as well as ultraviolet and polarized light. They've actually inspired a new cancer spotting technology. However, the creature with the most beautiful eyes on the entire planet is you, Professor. Oh! <laughs> More on these eyes Leah was talking about. They're pretty friggin' great. They can see cancers, like you said, without having to cut people open. Like, you don't have to take a biopsy to see cancer in somebody's arm. You can just, like, look at them with light and stuff, and, you know, that's, like, pretty cool. But they, this could eliminate the need for, like, biopsies entirely, so cancer would be totally revolutionized. And also, their punchers are being researched for armor purposes. Imagine somebody wearing mantis shrimp armor. Like, wouldn't that be awesome? I feel nothing! <laughs> okay, not like that, but you get the point. Basically, these little guys can hold up and hold their own in any ocean that they're put in. They're the kings of the Ocean Squad. <laughs> Let me go to the city, be back immediately to confiscate the money.